Good evening. Thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Karina Corral. And I'm Richard Gearhart. Governor Gavin Newsom signed two bills which will help first responders and health facilities prepare for power shutoffs. KSBY News reporter Alice Becerra spoke with representatives of one of those facilities. She has more on their concerns. Alice? Karina, the new bills will focus on prevention and response, and they'll also make sure to keep the community informed in case of potential power outages. With notice, we can have people on the first floor ready to evacuate. It would be much easier to get out of the building. Governor Newsom signed two new bills, which will help first responders and medically dependent residents affected by power shutoffs. The shutoffs are a statewide effort to minimize wildfire threats. Senate Bill 167 will require utility companies to come up with protocols to lessen the effects of shutoffs on people with sensitive medical needs. While Senate Bill 560 requires that first responders, healthcare facilities, and telecommunication providers receive notifications prior to the shutoff. Rose Care Group Inc. says one of their locations does not currently have a generator, so they worry about the impacts of not getting a notification ahead of time. If the electricity shuts down, our gates automatically open. We're licensed for 23 residents. We're a dementia-compliant facility, and we do have people that wander. So with the gates open, you can imagine we could have people wander out into the street, downtown, very dangerous situation. First responders will now receive a 48-hour notice from PG&E and the San Luis Obispo Office of Emergency Services prior to a shutoff. Then an update will go out 24 hours before the outage and then two to four hours before shutoff. PG&E says in part that the power shutoffs are designed to keep our customers, their families, and communities safe during periods of extreme weather and heightened fire risk. The San Luis Obispo Fire Department tells me that they currently have access to PG&E's weather portal, which allows them to view information on proposed shutoffs. In San Luis Obispo, Alice Becerra, KSBY News. Alice, thank you. You can find more information on wildfire preparedness and prevention by clicking this story on our website, ksby.com.